Hello everyone and welcome back to the City Witch series. I have no idea why, but for some reason, uh, now that my house has expanded, I seem to have woken up in the kids' room and I definitely didn't go to sleep here, so I don't really know why that happened. The bed block in my way though is an indication that I kind of need to rearrange some stuff, although I think to be fair, I was going to say that's it, but then we've got this situation going on in the kitchen. I should probably sort that out. There we go, I think that's going to be looking a little bit better, or at least a bit more organised for now, and the fish tank too. There we go. We do have one more house upgrade that we've got to get done, but it's a new season today, so we have a load of planting and stuff to get done. Um, also, it seems to be winding. Oh my god, we've got so much to do. I do just want to go around and make sure I clear up any debris first, because I don't want them kind of interrupting any of my crops or anything. Ah, oh, the corn's ready as well. Well, that's ready to go. I'm not too worried about how long it's going to take to till stuff, because obviously I've got the spell, and also the watering too. That's going to be easy to take care of. So we've got a little bit of time to do that before we go over to Pierre's. And we're going to leave that sunflower here. We'll keep making sunflower honey until I can get a fairy rose growing there and then we'll transfer it into fairy rose honey. Wow, look at the outside of the house, I've just noticed. Oh my god, that's so cute. I love the little skeleton hanging out the window there, that's adorable. I think for the crops I'm going to just use my scythe because I'm worried that it's going to just pick up my paths and stuff if I misclick. Well, I know that will happen if I misclick. Better off just doing it by hand. It doesn't take very long and there's not exactly many crops to get rid of. We're now just in time for Pierre's to open. I'm just going to check on my seeds in here to see if I've got any left over that I don't need to get. Well I have a load of yam seeds that I can plant. Do I do the sunflowers as well? I suppose why not right? I have got them so we might as well. I'll just fill up this one sprinkler with them. The yams that I'm going to put over here because I have got just less than a sprinkler's worth. I mean I could have gone and bought um one more seed but I am far too lazy for that. Even though I have to go to Pierre's anyway, that logic makes no sense, but you know what I mean. Hello Pierre! Right, we've got a corn already, we don't need to worry about that. Um, we want one lot of eggplant, a lot of bok choy, one lot of cranberries. Uh, do we do wheat? We'll do the wheat anyway. A lot of fairy roses, some amaranth. Um, the grapes we have to do a bit differently. I suppose I didn't really even need these anyway, did I? Because we've been able to forage these in summer, but it's too late now we've done them. Um, and then the artichoke seeds, we've got a sprinkler worth of them as well, and then the rest is going to just be pumpkins. Um, I'm going to get like 400 for now, and then hopefully that should do us for later in the season as well. And whilst we're out as well, we'll go and get Robin to start our next house upgrade, our final house upgrade actually. And perhaps we'll get her to add the rooms as well. Hi Robin, can you please- oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, make house renovations, so we're going to open the bedroom. We open- yeah, we'll open it. And then we want to add the southern room and we also want to add the corner room. Is that going to be a problem? No, we're good. We're good. Usually I have a painting in that corner and that obviously causes issues, but we're fine. And now uh, it's just a straight 100,000 gold and no materials. So thank you for your help there, Robin. Do I have any gifts on me for her? No, I don't. Okay, that's not ideal. Oh, she likes salad. You can have a salad. Here you go. Uh, Demetrius as well, do you like salads? You do like salads. <gasps> Yay! Full friendship, the beloved farmer. What about Maru? Do you like salads? I'm just now handing out salads to everyone, why not? Okay, let's get these crops down. So if we start with the eggplants, we'll do the cranberries at the top here because these are regrowable too. I'm going to do the fairy roses next to- ooh, that's the thing. What we'll do is when these are grown up, I'm going to move the bee houses over to the other side. We will do the grapes over here as well. And then is anything else regrowable? I don't think it is. It's just uh, anything else now. So we'll start with the bok choys here. Oops, that's the scarecrow. Do our wheat on this one too. Did I have too many wheat seeds or... Nope, the goat was just in the way. <laughs> We've got some artichokes. No, I made a mistake with the amaranth. Oh well, I'll have to live. We live with our mistakes, it's fine. And then any other open space will be pumpkins. Which, to be fair, there isn't actually all that much open space left. Then we'll obviously start watering as well. Again, using the sprinklers as the midpoint is a lot easier to try and measure exactly how much to water. And then what I'll do here is I'll use these gaps of pumpkins as well, so we might as well not waste the space. These seeds will be kept for later. I've already got 42 corn, so I think I'm just going to sell what I've got left now. And that just leaves us dealing with the wine. Ooh, can I make four more kegs? Do I have the stuff? I have the wood. Do... Or is it the oak resin I'm missing? I mean, I know I've got a load of oak resin ready. I've got enough. Our shed is officially full. 
I am actually going to make the pale ale as well, so we'll do that and some starfruit wine. And even though the pale ale is a lot quicker to produce, I'm going to just leave it in here until the next wine day. Alright, that's all the kegs handled for the day. And I've saved enough wine so I don't have to worry about that for now. Maybe I need to start making casts in advance. Oh, actually, I can't do that. Can't do that until the house is actually uh, finished upgrading, so we'll wait for that for tomorrow. Hopefully I've got enough wood and hardwood to handle all that, actually. I think 200 hardwood will be alright, so I will just leave it, but we'll just take care of some other farm stuff for now. We do have a couple more uh, mahogany trees if we need to. And I think I'm going to keep that goat cheese on me for gifts, actually, because they do make good gifts. Do you know what? I actually am going to collect this oat resin, because there's probably going to come a day where we're going to need all of it. I did make a big old tree tapper farm for a reason at the end of the day. Also just remembered to go and actually harvest my ancient fruit as well because it is a uh, wine day. I usually like to do it on the same day that I deal with wine. Before I sell any of it though, I'm going to have a look if I've got enough. Oh, I haven't actually got any. Alright, in this case I'm going to keep it all because the next time the preserves jars are done I can put them in there instead. Okay, is there any other debris that I might have missed earlier? Making sure none are hiding in the bushes down here because sometimes that can happen. There's definitely some over here. Do you know what? I've actually taken half my coal as well because I do want to see if I can make some more preserves jars. I'll just use one stack of each of the wooden stone though. So we made another 15. That's a decent amount. Let's see if uh, we're going to need many more. Some of the jelly's already starting to be ready, but I think I will still wait till the morning to handle it. I mean, hey, that's a significant amount added. We don't need too many more. Maybe I just go ahead and handle it. I don't know. We make a few more. I mean, it is extra money at the end of the day, right? Okay, well I ended up actually making another seven. We are so almost there. I feel like my bed's currently in a weird place, but because the cat's sleeping on it, I can't actually move it. <laughs> Typical. All right, never mind. Nice, 430 grand. <gasps> oh, it's the wedding today. <laughs> Don't be forgetting when the wedding is. When Willow first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew she'd fit in with our community. But from this day forward, Willow's gonna be as much a part of this town as any of us. It is my great honour on this day two of four to unite Willow and Kristoff in the bonds of marriage. Do you guys even know who Kristoff is? You guys have never met him as much a part of this town, marrying someone not even from here, what do you mean? Well, let's get right to it. Willow, Kristoff, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal, I now pronounce you wife and husband. It sounds so weird saying it that way around, I don't know. You may kiss. Life is going to be different from now on, but the future looks bright. Back in our house at 6am. It's kind of standing in the fence, that's kind of awkward. The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. You would never. You would never farm. Can't hire employees here. This is not how it works. Oh, let's give Robin a goat's cheese while she's here. Actually, no. Do we? Yeah, we do. And also, it's Penny's birthday and we have to handle that too. Oh, we've already given her two gifts this week. Never mind then. All right. I'll keep my goat's cheese. With our preserve jars, we're going to make a load of ancient fruit jelly. And I remember in the last one, I did just kind of like put in a random mishmash of goods. But hey, it's still extra profit at the end of the day. I do need to check what Penny actually likes for her birthday. I know she loves diamonds. I know she doesn't like rabbit's feet. What I really wanted to see if there was anything I could give with a uh, quality rating. And the sandfish seems to be one of them. I wonder if I've got any. I don't think I do. I need to make sure I save one thing for the outside jar. So I am going to use this one. And we're officially out of ancient fruit. Okay, let's get everything sold that we don't want. Uh, do we keep the cheese? No, I won't keep the cheese. And probably I'm just going to give Penny a diamond and Kristoff can have an emerald. There you go. We've already got us up another extra heart, so we've already got three to go. And whilst we're taking care of gifting, maybe we do go to the city and deal with the people there. I can't actually remember who I've got left. We've got Pete to deal with later at night. We've got Selena, David. I think it's just Selena and David. That should be easy enough. So Selena, we can get some wine in a minute. And David, have I got any more aquamarine? Yes, I do. I should have some cheap wine in here. I say cheap, but just like, you know, not starfruit wine. You can have some cranberry wine. That's what I can use all my mistake wines for. And I'll keep a pale ale on me as well to remember to go see Pete later. What I also want to do is, yep, I haven't actually caught the angler before. So maybe we go handle that today too, because it is now the season for it. Oh, we got a cutscene with Penny. Oh, it's so dirty in here. Willow, um, sorry it's such a mess. I was about to clean up. You should not be doing this on your birthday, Penny. You'll help me? You really mean it? So I'll help you. On your birthday? I mean, other days too, but I mean, it's your birthday. Okay, you can get started over there. I'll clean the kitchen. Pam's come back. She must have forgotten something for work. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. I had everything just the way I like it. 
Um, the house is a total mess. Willow and I were trying to tidy things up a bit. Were you at the saloon just now? You smell like beer. It's none of your damn business where I go. It is my business. I don't want you destroying yourself. You don't realise your choices have an effect on me? Stop being so selfish. Selfish? I put a roof over your head and clothes on your back and you call me selfish? You ungrateful little... Jeez. You better go. I'm sorry you had to see this kid. It is nasty in here. She was just trying to help. But I don't want you telling others to clean up my house. It's embarrassing, you understand? Yes, mother. The yikes of resorting to saying mother. Wait, I could have sworn- Oh yeah, she's here. I was like, Penny should be here, right? Here's a diamond. That should cheer you up. Farm looks really pretty right now. When did you go to my farm? Where are we with her friendship? Actually, I could just talk to her and find out, can't I? Oh, I've got another cutscene. Oh no, not this one. Willow, you came at a good time. Just about finished cooking a new recipe I invented. That was a very quick cooking session. <laughs> Let me just finish up real quick. Here, give that a little taste. You. Well? Hmm, that was delicious. You really mean it? Thank you, it's such a relief to hear that. I've been working so hard on this recipe and I'm really proud of it. I mean, maybe she just uses ingredients that I don't like. Hey, since you're the first person to try it, I'm gonna name this one Chili de Willow. That was meant to be a chili? There were some interesting colours in there for a chili. So how about we watch a movie or something? Sure can. Okay, we're on 7 out of 8 hearts, that's actually good. It was probably helped by that cutscene just there. We are very close to finishing Penny's friendship. In fact, how close actually are we? Oh, we've only just entered that heart, but that's fine. Through the city. Oh my god, that's so much fibre. Might as well take it all with me. Actually, I think all the trees have regrown too, so maybe we do that on the way as well. Now I'm going to start keeping my old coins just in case, you know, we get something that we actually want in a pickled peach shop. Then we'll go and check the flower forage area at the moment. I probably shouldn't have bothered actually uh, planting fairy roses because we always get the iridium ones here anyway. Um, although I suppose the fairy rose honey would be nice, but I only really needed to sacrifice one single spot for that. You know what, whilst my inventory is- I was going to say it's relatively empty, but it's not. But it should be empty enough for me to clear out the quarries that are over here. Ooh, a beach totem. I'm going to sacrifice the slime for that. We don't need that. That's enough distraction, I think. Let's deal with our gifting. I don't know why I keep checking the map as if I'm going to be able to find anyone on it. First find David behind his counter over here. I actually got some more aquamarine on the way and oh my god, I'm standing on the bar. <laughs> that's quite funny. Okay, I'm just going to run. Oh, I forgot to fish for the anglerfish, but that's fine. We've got other days to do it. We've got an entire season to do it. It's fine. Actually, is there anything I can collect from up here? I know I need uh, serpents and stuff, so maybe we can defeat some serpents in here, even though it's kind of a lot. At least this is one way to find some serpents without having to actually go to Skull Caverns. No rubies? Oh, I've got I need so much space. I need that fragment for something as well, probably. Do I get rid of the clay? Probably shouldn't, right? Oh no, what am I going to do? The sunflowers for now, I think. Maybe he knows something about this. I wonder if I have to bring that to him, actually. Alright, I am out of there. In fact, why don't I look up anything on it? Nothing. Okay. It could just be something that's not added yet, to be fair. Now, let's see if we can find Selena. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find her by that bird. Well, she's not here. Right, the pharmacy. She's definitely not here. I mean, maybe she was just at home. Definitely not here. Although, to be fair, I know that she sometimes goes up to the cafe. Did I walk past her earlier or something? Well, she's definitely not at the cafe. Maybe I just have to wait for her to shift from wherever she is at the moment. Trying out by the bridge to see if she's hanging around there, because sometimes people do. And that is if I can find the damn place. I always get lost in this area. Here's the building I bought that I can't use. There's Gwen, hello. Find anything interesting in the mines lately? I found that serpent fragment, I don't really know what to do with it. Oh my god, there she is. Was she there earlier? Surely not. I really hope not. If so, I kind of feel stupid. Here you go. Have some wine. Hey, I'd love to talk, but I have some research to do right now. On this pigeon? I mean, sure, okay. I will run then. Before we go and see Pete, I'm going to put away all my loot because there is a lot of it. And I think the Iridium quality yam I am just going to sell. That's some pretty good timing to go say hi to Pete. Hello. Have a pale ale. Oh, no, stop trying to drink the goods. We got some broken glasses. I found this made me think of you. You think I'm trash? He definitely thinks I'm trash. That's so rude. Can I take my pale ale back? Just taking my anger out on all of these ghosts out here. I'm going to die in a minute if I'm not careful. Salad to save the day. Hey look, Kristoff's home. Hello. You hey, we just finished my chores. Now I can spend some time together. Tell me about your day. I just got uh, told I was trashed by a ghost. That is how my day went. Put these truffles in the shipping bin and then head to bed, I think. 
Oh, I need to move the sewing machine as well. Let's do that real quick because that kind of looks odd. There we go. We made a little money today. Not a huge amount, but also not a bad amount. And I didn't actually get a chance to look at Kristoff's room. It's like a mini office situation. I kind of like it. Where is he though? Okay, there's a torch in my hand now. Where did that come from? I just realized my cauldron's out. Oh no. Uh, hopefully he just thinks it's decorative. Hi. I got up early and watered some of the crops for you. Makes your job a little easier today. Dude, there are sprinklers. What do you mean? Why are you lying for? Even if what you said was kind of questionable, I'm still going to give you a topaz. I'm just going to relax and inspect the farm today, okay? I mean, sure. Not spending much time at Joja anymore, interestingly. I mean, I know it's only been like a day and a bit, but still. Alright, let's go catch that fish. And you know what? Let's see if there are any other fish we need to handle as well for four. We haven't actually caught the sandfish before, so we should probably do that. Um, and to be fair, most of the fish that we've got left are actually crab pot fish. And I can't remember. I do actually have some. Hang on. Um, I'm going to bring these and take them to the beach, I think. And maybe we end up buying some more as well. Do I have any bug meat to turn into bait? Yes, I do. 285 bait should last us a decent amount of time. Oh, and I need to get the master enchant on the fishing rod as well. So maybe we do that too. I have enough for one attempt at the forge. So... Right, we'll go to the island. We'll try the forge. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go through the forge the entire way and see if we can get some more magnus sprites done because I know I need to slay quite a few of those. Go do the forge first. No, we'll do it after because I might get enough cinder shards by the time I get to the end of it to make it more worth it. The blink spell, we don't even need our watering can because I see a chest already on the first floor. That's always a good sign. And it's golden coconut, okay. Could be better, could also be worse. Actually, it can't get much worse than just a golden coconut. And also, whilst we're here, I wonder if I can uh, see if I can get any more dragon's teeth because I am going to need them eventually. How much do I have? Oh, I've got 20. Okay, I don't even need to worry. Never mind. Scrap that. Because I'm eventually going to need them for the obelisks, but uh, I already have enough, so that's one less thing to worry about. Quite a few magma sprites on this one. How many do we actually need? Oh my god, we need like 100. We're going to have to spend quite a lot of time in here. Lots of volcano days coming up. I won't try and do too many in a row though, because I feel like that would get boring real fast, me just standing here, waiting for those things to come at me. Maybe I should have come in here with some monster musk or something, actually thinking about it, but we'll do that next time. Right, I can hear Magnus Sprites. Ah, there it is. Before we kill it, we're in 68 now, so we've killed 15 of them. That is still progress. I will take the progress. And yeah, next time I'll just have to remember to bring monster musk with me. Okay, we have made it to the forge. So we now have 63 cinder shards, which means we've got three attempts at being able to enchant our iridium rod. So what are we going to get? I'm hoping we're going to get the master first time. No, we got auto hook. That is not what we want. This one? Efficient. Damn it. Last one, please. Third time's a charm, please. Thank goodness. Okay. And we used literally three whole prismatic shards, but it's fine. We'll get more. It's fine. All right, let's get out of here. But that gives us enough time to go home and try and catch that uh, anglerfish. We can give Theo an emerald. Enjoy. Not sure what a small parrot boy is going to do with an emerald. Maybe it's just a shiny pretty thing. I don't know. <laughs> Mind you, what do most people do with them? Um, anyway, back to the farm. We got our first Celestine. Let's put another one in the Crystallarium. And then does the anglerfish have a certain time? No. Why does it say the fall is not right? I mean, we're definitely in fall, so I'm just going to go for it anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. Here's the bridge. Let's try and get that angler. This ain't it, but I suppose we might as well just catch any other fish we get, right? Looking at this, I might just have to handle this next time because it, for some reason, doesn't think it's fall, and I'm kind of worried about that. I know it's kind of a rare thing to find, but I've had, like, several fish now, or several hooks at least, and none of them have been the angler. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it heard me calling. I didn't bother with any fishing food or anything for this because the angler is by far the easiest legendary fish. I mean, this is even easier than like the sturgeon and the octopus. But hey, we've got it now. And I can see I'm still getting fishing XP, so I do need to work on that. But that's another reason that we need to get our crab pots sorted out because that is a little bit of bonus fishing XP. Even if I can't go buy more crab pots, I don't really want to make them because I want to keep the iron for other stuff. But oh. I forgot about the special orders board. Uh, got tarot root, 100 tarot roots. Have I done this before? And Lewis wants 100 amaranths. All right, first things first. Do I have the solar panel recipe? I don't think I do. So maybe we do handle the island ingredients one because that's very, very essential. 
And then for the beach, I'm just making sure I don't already have crab pots somewhere. I don't think I do. I'm going to put them like here. Get our first few down. And I just have to remember to actually come back and check them every once in a while. But now I'm not going to sell the fish. Um, I just need to check. What do I need this for? I think I only need one salmon for the salmon dinner. Just making sure that I don't need them for ingredients and stuff before I uh, decide to do anything with them. And I think the anglerfish I'm going to go ahead and put in my house. And I will sell the small mouth bass because they're not really that useful. This though, I will move. Where am I going to put it? Um, I guess we can go here. There we go. And now that I know that I've seen the uh, Celestine, I can remove that from our list here. Seeing the list reminded me that I did at some point need speed grow. Do I still need speed grow? No, I don't. Okay, we're all good. We're all good on that. And actually, before going to bed, let's see if I've got mini taro root seeds here. I have some, and then I'm going to pop over to the island and see if I've already got some growing, because... What I like to do is exactly this. So I've got these all ready to harvest. Oh my god, the weeds are taking over. And that reminds me, tomorrow we do need to redo all the sprinklers here. So let's go ahead and replant these taro seeds now. And then it means that I've already taken care of some of this crop order. And that's why I tend to like plant taro and leave them. Do I have any other seeds in here? I've already got another 11 taro root, so I might just ship those anyway. I don't think I've got any more seeds. I do need to bring some sprinklers over here ready for tomorrow too. If I ship all these, um, how many does it think we have harvested already? So we've got 61 out of 100 already. That is exactly why I do that this way. I'm going to put my sprinkler supplies on me so I remember. I've got my pressure nozzles here. And then sprinkler wise, I mean I might not even need any more sprinklers because I've already got quite a lot of them. Did I already have some or have I already used them all? Okay, well, it probably can't hurt to make a few more just in case. Now let's get some sleep. At least that forced me to make some money with the tarot yesterday. And now let's deal with our starfruit day. Oh, I need to give uh, Christoph his daily gift first. So let's go with a topaz again. There you go. Oh, I got some bread. Thank you for the bread. I'm gonna put it in the fridge because I'm probably gonna need that for a recipe. And where are we now? We got another half a heart in the couple of days that we've had him around. And since we're going over to the island, I might as well get something for Leo. I think I've just given him a gift though, so I don't know. Actually, I can just check in here, can't I? Duh. Leo, we've only given him one gift. Okay. Um, I just wanted to see if I go in here, if I've got any duck feathers. I do. We have a silver one, so we'll use that. Then I think I should head straight over to the island and start handling things over there. We will go find Leo first, because that's probably going to be the easiest thing. And whilst we're here as well, I am going to splash all this fibre because some of these give you tarot tubers and we definitely still need more for our quest. This is for you, Leo. Okay, and that's got us another four tarot tubers, so that's something. Not a huge amount, but still good. Right, let's get these planted. And then it's time to deal with our sprinklers. So I'm going to remove all the quality ones first. Oh my god, there's so much fibre I missed. Oops, I just pickaxed an entire starfruit. Wait, this starfruit's not done? Okay, we will do that next time then. How did I not even think to check this yesterday? Oh no. Well, that plan's gone out the window. In that case, first thing I want to do today is see if there's any artifact spots around here because we still need, I think it's the snake vertebrae. I probably will go double check that in a second, but we might as well check for the vertebrae first. I'll leave all the sprinklers and stuff here ready for the next time. And I'm certainly not noticing any artifact spots, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully next time. Do we have any good key quests? Nothing that I particularly want to- I mean, I'll accept the Skull Cabin Invasion just in case. I don't even know how many key gems I've got. Nine. Okay, that's not really useful for anything. And looking at our perfection percentage just out of interest, we are very low, but that's because there's a lot of yes-nos that are not done. We'll get there one day. Probably a good time to mention, actually, in relation that this series won't be ending until we reach perfection, so plenty of content still to look forward to. Whilst I'm here, I might as well go and uh, pick up all of this stuff here. We're obviously going to need some more stuff for our preserves jars. I'm literally just going to put all of it straight in that chest. In fact, it might actually be a good idea one of these days because that should actually handle the mummies and the serpents pretty easily. What I'm doing right now is just popping down to the beach to check on our crab pots down here. We've got a few things. I think these are things I've already quote unquote caught, so not the most helpful, but it's still something actually. Let's check. I think it filled in the cockle, so there is that. So I just need to get the crab, the shrimp, the oyster, and the lobster. They are all sea things, so at least they're in the right place. I know that much. I probably should have bought more whilst I was down there, shouldn't I? Let's go take care of that, actually. Hi, Willie. Um, can I please take one trout soup? And then I will take another five crab pots, please. 
This should speed things up a little bit at least. And I think the rest of this day might be a good one to go and catch the desert fish. We'll even take the bus and give Pam something to do. Alright, I'm actually going to eat my trout soup for this because I do suck at fishing and I know the scorpion carp can be kind of annoying. Any good quality sandfish as well I'm going to keep to give to Penny as a gift, I think. Maybe I should go handle that today, actually. Oh, this is difficult. This might be our scorpion carp. If I can catch it in two fish, that is very easily handled. Yeah, there's, there's no way this is just a sandfish. It's being way too irritating. Stop it! Chill! Please! Oh my goodness. Oh, thank God. You know, I think I'm even going to put that scorpion carp in the fish tank. Do I have anything else I can put in there that might suit our vibe? I could probably do a super cucumber, but I don't know. A midnight carp would look good in there. I'm just really sad about the zuzu carp not working. Actually, the void salmon. That one's a good one. That's very much our vibe. Oh, we do have a midnight carp. Okay, that is going to go in there. Should I make a fish pond of it first, though? I probably should. Do we have any fish in here, even? No, it's empty. I'm going to empty this pond and then slap this one in there. And actually, whilst I'm down this end of the farm, I'm going to stop into Marnie's. Oh, maybe not. We're going to speak to Haley first, it seems. Oh, hi, Willow. The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. I've been trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I never really thought about. Well, until now. These cows are so cute. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. Let's do this. I freaking love these photos. Especially this one. <laughs> the cow's like, excuse me, do you mind? I'm not a horse. That was fun, Willow, and these photos are hilarious. You are so messed. That is nasty. I'm gonna go home and take a shower now. I'm hoping that's mud and not, you know, poop. Hi, Marnie. Can I please buy a load of hay? I'm gonna buy, like, a stack of the stuff so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Go ahead and dump some of it in there. Add 206, so it really was almost empty. And then it's gonna live- oh, I had loads of hay already. Oh well. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Never mind. Sell all those truffles. And then do you know what? We might actually just go give this sandfish straight to Penny. Whilst it's pomegranate season, I need to make the most of this for Mr. Elliot. And also is Harvey at home? Yes, he is. We might as well bring him a cup of coffee. No, don't drink it. That's for you. Nutrition is important, so make sure and eat well. That hurt my brain. I don't know why. I think it was the end. Try to increase your vegetable intake. How does he know what I'm eating? I mean, it could have just been generic advice, but still. Us, ah, Penny. This is for you. Oh no, I've already given her two gifts this week. Okay, never mind. We'll do that another time then. Now, where is Elliot? I haven't got a clue, but I know that Leah's up this way, so I can give her a ghost cheese at least. Oh, there he is. Here you go. Oh dear, a tiny crab appears to have made his home in my shirt pocket. You now have a pet. You've been adopted by a crab. Did I just completely walk past Leah? I guess I did. Where is she? Oh, she's here. Here you go. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Enjoy the ghost cheese. One of these days, I'll have to make you a wild mushroom stir fry. Oh my god, please don't. <laughs> please do not make me anything with mushrooms in it. We've also got copper requests from Clint. Maybe we accept it for now because we could probably do with a friendship. We still need four entire hearts with him, so let's pop up to the mines. I'm also very much looking forward to Blackberry Season 2. Especially now that we are salmon berryless, unless I put them somewhere. I think I lost them at some point though. That's why we ended up with all these salads. Okay. Copper time. Plus slime. Small magnet ring, that's fine. I can just sell it. I'll always take the extra cash. Alright, let's see how long it takes us to get all of this copper. If I can find a ladder, that would be wonderful. Okay, never mind. Let's just reset the floors. That's more like it. Alright, we have our 40, so let's head out again. Gonna take the minecart straight into town. Where is Clint right now? He's not at home. He should be at the saloon, I believe. Yes, he is. I want to see how much friendship that gives us, actually. Um, so... He's on, like, six and a half at the moment. Now we do this quest for him. <gasps> a big help. We've just done loads of quests. Okay. Hmm, it seems these ores don't have any rare gems inside. That's okay. It, were you just gonna try and steal from me? I'll take, I'll take the gold. Then, how much friendship did that give us with him, if any? I think it gave us, like, barely any, but I'll t I mean, I'll take it anyway. Or was that just me talking to him that gave the friendship points? Does that, does that one not give any points? I don't know. Unless it's just so minimal that it's not even noticeable. Okay, well, that was a very productive few days. Let's head to bed. How much gold do we make today? Oh, we made 13 grand. Okay, well, that was from our truffles, I believe. 
In the next episode, we've got a bit of redoing a ginger island to do, so I'm looking forward to that. And maybe we can decorate the place a little bit with some paths and such. I feel like this isn't the first time that I've miscalculated when the starfruit was ready, but oh well. <laughs> Not the end of the world. At least I didn't miss a day. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!